Hi, I'm Jim with the Fern Factory, and today I'm going to show you how to propagate from spore. Um, spore is the seeds on the bottom of the fern, and here's a few different varieties. This is an Australian tree fern. This is a staghorn fern, or a platycerium. This is a polypodium. The black dots in here are the spores. This is a platycerium superbum. This is what we're going to be working on today, and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, I'm going to collect some of the spore off, off this spore patch on the bottom of this uh, platycerium superbum spore. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take a butter knife, I'm going to hold it over a white piece of paper, and I'm going to scratch it off. Until I get a decent little pile which I'm going to use. Okay, I'm going to show you how to collect the spore off this polypodium. You're basically going to do the same thing. You're just going to have to be real gentle and rub it off. You're going to probably need to use most of all these little dots on here. I scrape them all the way off and you just proceed and you go down each leaf until you get them all. Then you'll repeat the, the next step on all these varieties. Same thing with uh, this regular staghorn fern. This is a bifurcatum. You do the same as the superbum. You just grab your butter knife and scrape off the spore. It's a little bit different on the Australian tree fern. What I like to do with the Australian tree fern and the Blackman is, is to set it down on a nice white piece of paper, a nice big piece of paper, lay it perfectly flat, and leave it overnight. And I'll show you a still photo after this, a day later. When I pick this up, all the spore will be sitting on the table. And the same thing with the Blackman. This is Blackman oxyntalis. And I do the same thing with it. I just leave it on the paper and let the spore drop off naturally. I don't scrape it off. Once you collect the spore, it should look like this. What you want to do, you want to empty, or you want to separate the empty shells from the spore itself, from the little seeds. So what I like to do is tap on it. If you tap on the, the container and shake it back and forth, you'll see the, the sporelings separate. And you'll see them drop on the seed. They're a little bit browner and blacker. Okay, we're going to start. This is a kit you can get off the fern factory. This is a, this, a spore kit that I sell. And um, it comes with a container. You get your sponge rock, or prairie light, peat moss, get some tags, a sharpie, a screen, and a spore, depending on what you want. Today, we're going to do Platycerium superbo. This is the kit, and we're going to start. You start off by putting the prairie light into the container, pour it completely in. If you don't buy my kit, you want to do about an inch to an inch and a half of prairie light. You're going to grab the peat moss. And add this to the container on the top. Then level it out, completely level. You want it perfectly flat, as flat as possible. You see any big chunks in there? Pull them out. Then what we do, take two cups of boiled water, then we pour it slowly into the container.
We're going to put the lid on the container and we're going to throw it in the microwave for 10 minutes on high. Now that it's been in the microwave for 10 minutes, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, add a little bit of cool water. What I did, I took some water out of the tea kettle and let it cool off and used it. I, I like to use distilled water. So I'm going to add about two to three more cups until this is thoroughly wet. Then what we're going to do, I'm going to put this off to the side for a minute. We're going to grab our spore, from our spore that comes in the kit or the spore that you, you separate. A small cup or a shot glass. Gonna take the spore. And dump it into the glass. A, a little piece of stocking comes with the kit. Sprinkle, pull it firmly over the shot glass. And you're gonna use this like a salt shaker. What's this gonna do is it's gonna spread out the spore evenly across your container. You lightly sprinkle the spore. I don't know if you can see that dropping in there, but it's flaking all the way across. Then what you're going to want to do, you want to name your plant, date it, put the tag in there, put the lid on, put it in a cool, shady area and try not to open it. Look at it as least as possible. And after about three months, three to five months, you should end up with Perfelia. This is a little bit further along and this is a tree fern. This isn't a staghorn, but they grow almost identical. They look the same. The Perfelia is a small step. These are actually little tree ferns, little plantlets. But when, when you get to this stage where you see your profilia growing all over, every couple days you're going to need to go in there and, and mist them a little. You want to get the whole container, a uh, little bit of mist going on in there. About every three to five days. And what that does, that allows the seeds to germinate on the profilia for the, the sperm and the eggs to mix together on a water droplet. Then about after another three to four months, your container will look like this. And these are little staghorn ferns. These are Platycerum superbum. From here, I'd take a pair of tweezers and I would go ahead and separate them out like this. And go ahead and, and put them into your four inch pots or your two inch pots or however you're gonna grow them. But that's basically how you grow from spore.